Oh, the smell of it. Oh, it's so oh. <laughs> oh, God. Birthday cake flavor has exploded in popularity recently. You can find anything from birthday cake oatmeal to birthday cake lube. Today, we're counting down our picks for the best gluten-free birthday cake flavored treat. And let me tell you, we risked our bellies and bowels to create this list. But before we get started, let us know in the comments if you like birthday cake flavored foods or if you want the trend to die a very fast death. Number seven, Partake Birthday Cake Cookies. Oh. Do they think salty do? No. Or bacon soda. They taste. Yeah, I can see that. It's, it's like taint. an acidic -y, yeah. battery acid -y. Yeah, that's not good. Like initially it tastes really awful. Like exceptionally <laughs> bad, but then it goes to where it like basically has no flavor. Yeah, it's very flavorless. These are at grocery outlet. Mag -mag for 50 cents a box. Well, I'll tell you that. <laughs> we know why. And they're like insanely dry. Yeah. And they've right. added sprinkles just to add sprinkles and then call it fancy birthday oh, cake. Mustard free. No, look, That's it's good. fish. It's fish free. Oh. I'm so glad it doesn't have fish in it. Can you think of all the other, all those other cookies that have fish in it? The gall. I would never choose that in any setting. Even if it got placed no, before me, I would not choose to eat that. But I have had worse tasting things. Yeah. I've tasted worse, but not by much. Number six. Birthday cake dino bites. Oh, the smell of it. Oh, it's so Oh, <laughs> oh God. Go for it, Beth. I'm nervous. Three, two, one. Oh, so fake. It is horrific. It tastes like something we've had before. Yeah, Rice right, Krispie treats. It really. It does, okay, okay, fake marshmallow. Imitation like the, marshmallow. Well, yeah, it tastes like the Rice Krispie treats that you get from the Rice Krispie brand. Yeah, it's because they add like the fake flavoring in there. When, I go, when it comes to cereal, sugary cereals, like this works, it's not horrible. Malta Meal has their taste guarantee. You know? <laughs> so you, you gotta trust that. I love that we all hate it, but we are eating it. I know, right? I ate loads of it. Number five, great value birthday cake crispy rice treats. The, uh... There's not there's nary a marshmallow in sight. <laughs> <laughs> the sprinkles that they put on this are the hard ones. They do not have a sweetness to them. They taste like food coloring. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah. Um, let me see this. The the sprinkles made this worse. Yeah. Mm. I do feel like there's a taste of plastic to this. I'm getting a little hint of red five. <laughs> well, like some yellow ten, because they they don't have the heart to tell you that the colors are made from crushed up beetles. Once you get past the uh, food coloring layer and really chew it, it's like okay, this isn't too bad. But then you basically just have to get rid of the the. Um, the party element to it, the purely aesthetic me. part to get to the, this is a normal store-bought Rice Krispie treat. And it, and it sucks. And it's yeah. Bad. yeah. Not, not a fan. Number four, safe and fair birthday cake drizzled popcorn. The popcorn's very soft, unless it's coated in the sugar. It's not good quality popcorn. It's got like a frosting drizzle on it. It's not very well distributed. distributed. Even the kettle corn, it's like almost like it wasn't popped with enough sugar. And then those are soft and like boring. <laughs> boring, excuse me. I do like that the sugar is just sort of subtle. There is no birthday cake, anything. I'll fight to the death. It is just sprinkles on top of kettle corn. The good news is that the sprinkles are soft sprinkles that melt on your tongue and yeah. not the hard, crusty ones. At least they <laughs> didn't do that wrong. Number three, Heavenly Hunks Birthday Cake Gluten-Free Cookies. It says baked with love and real ingredients, but my very first thought is this looks unbaked. Oh, oh they're thick. Initially, the, that first hit is I hate this, I don't want to continue to eat it, and then it kind of mellows out. It mellows out a little bit, but you can taste the coconut really well. It tastes very artificial. The texture, it's so thick. 
got a lot of flowers, a lot of starch in it. We've we got oh well, look at it, bees. Tapioca flour, potato starch, cane Holy sugar. Cow. Why did I say cane sugar as part That's of the starch? <laughs> as part of the starch. It's very weird. I feel like you can make this better. Absolutely. I don't think that it's terrible, but it's odd. Also, I don't place it as birthday cake if I were to close my eyes and just no, eat it. not at all. The only reason it's birthday cake is because it has sprinkles. Number two, Quest Birthday Cake Protein Bar. I just wanna point out that it says on the box, better, softer, yummier, yummier, which to me indicates that the original was probably repulsive. Exceptionally bad. <laughs> Exceptionally disgusting. Also, this does have a warning that it's processed in a facility that processes peanut, soy, wheat, and other tree nuts. But this is certified by the GFCO, so it should be safe. Smells extremely artificial. I get a hint of Play-Doh. I'm not smelling vanilla on this. Well, it has a texture of Play-Doh. Mm-hmm. Okay, I actually think that this doesn't taste that bad. <laughs> it doesn't. The only thing is, is that it's there is something about this bar though it's making my tongue Does it's it like taste? touching it's like touching a battery to your tongue that's mm. what's happening to my tongue right now it's got, is full of shit I mean <laughs> yeah it's got sugar alcohols in it oh yeah so much bad stuff but it's healthy oh it's so not healthy it's so interesting actual like healthy things for the colors but then it's got erythritol not great palm kernel oil exceptionally bad natural flavors that's a big fat question mark with natural flavors sucralose this uh, is actually one of the better protein bars I've ever had. It's just a lot of chew. <laughs> I really I mean, thought it was gonna be bad. Number one, Goody Girl Birthday Cake Sandwich Cookies. They smell like, the cookie itself smells like uh, graham crackers to me. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. I'm gonna taste just the cookie. The cookie on this, what I like about it is it's very crisp. Mm -hmm. It's a nice, it doesn't crumble. It's, it's a bit grainy but not where it's overwhelming or where that's all you can focus on. It's not Trader Joe's. That's they're I great. Like them. They're good. They're very they're good. They're a good, sweet cookie. They're almost they're almost boarding that that I don't want any more flavor from this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it is it's, it is a it's not very nuanced. But they pulled back. Mhm. Mm I think it's perfect. It's a nice little sweet treat. I think the hell out of these. They're so good. So there you go. The best and worst birthday cake flavored treats. Let us know if you've tried any of these products. We'd love to know what you thought of them. Go get your grub on, but hold the sprinkles.